A little while ago I heard the term emotional flashback and when I first heard this term I wasn't exactly sure what it was all about. But when I looked into this it soon made sense and I came to see that I'd already written about an emotional flashback but I hadn't used this term. And an emotional flash flashback is a result of trauma and there are said to be three types of flashback. The first one is visual and this is where someone will remember what happened. The second one is somatic and this is where some will have the physical sensations of what happened and the third one is the emotional flashback and this is where they will have the emotional experience of what happened and of course someone can have all of these together so they can remember what happened, their body can respond and they can experience how they felt and when someone has experienced trauma it will mean that they felt overwhelmed and because they felt overwhelmed it wouldn't have been possible for them to integrate what took place. So there is something called PTSD and there is something called CPTSD and one is post-traumatic stress disorder and the other one is complex post-traumatic stress disorder. And if someone ex experienced trauma as a child then they can usually end up with CPTSD. And this because their brain won't be fully developed, that it will have a far greater effect on them. And although it is classed as a disorder, whether it's the C or just the PTSD, another way of looking at this has been to call it a response. So it's then not that someone is disordered and there's something inherently wrong with them which they use this label can add to how they already feel. It is simply that they experienced something that was extremely traumatic, either a one-off event or many events. And so they what they're experiencing is a response of this. And to me, this makes more sense. So when someone has an emotional flashback, they can experience the fear, the terror, they can feel powerless, they can feel extremely ashamed and worthless. But because it is only an emotional flashback, they might not know what is going on because they won't have the, the memory, the visual won't be there so they can make sense of what is going on. And if someone experiences early abuse, neglect, trauma early on and even if it was whilst they're in the womb or during their birth because they were so small and undeveloped it might not have been possible for them to remember because their brain wasn't developed enough to remember so now that they're an adult they will then have these emotional flashbacks but with nothing to go with it and this can be naturally extremely confusing because it won't make any sense. However, once they can understand why this is, and as I said, it could be because their brain wasn't developed enough or it could be because their brain is blocked out what happened because it was so pain painful. And once they can understand what is going on, then it can allow them to say, oh, this is because of that. It's not just because they're just experiencing fear or feel powerless and that's just how they are there's a reason for it and this is something that I can relate to myself because very early on I was having these emotional flashbacks where I would feel powerless and ashamed and experience lots of fear and again and I didn't know what was going on and it was extremely frustrating to have this and once I could understand why this was, it made me feel a lot more at ease. Of course, it didn't deal with what was going on. And that was something that I had to deal with through reaching out for support and finding answers. And in the beginning, very early on in my journey, the answers I found didn't really 
allow me to move beyond these flashbacks. I was still having them, but in a lot of cases, the approaches I was using were simply pushing down my emotions. So I ended up becoming disconnected from myself because that was the only way that at the time I had to deal with how I felt. But of course, in order to become more integrated, I had to clear the arousal so that I was no longer going into these emotional flashbacks. So if you find you are having these emotional flashbacks and just out, out of nowhere, when you're with people, when you're by yourself, you may find that you often have these when you're around others. And this is because if this emotional flashback is due to experiencing trauma when you're very small, the trauma would have been the result of what took place when you're around others. So when you go and spend time around others now, it will trigger these feelings again. So if you're finding that this keeps happening, then my advice would be to reach out for external support, could be assistance of a therapist or a healer, or perhaps you could reach out to me. And as I've said, I've experienced these things and I understand what happens and how to work through them as well. So if you need assistance, please reach out, whether it is me or someone else. But please reach out so that you can gradually change your life and know what it's like to be emotionally settled 